Hello everyone, it's me Mega Maniacs here, back for another video. And today we are going to be uh, doing a sit you buy on the uh, set number 76194, Tony Stark's Sicarian Iron Man. This is a really interesting set, one of one of three mechs from this wave, which is pretty crazy for Marvel to be getting three different mechs, two of them from being two of them being from what if you're getting a lot of lego what if and mech stuff in this wave which you know i'm not complaining i love what if i think it is a great so so to be getting a lot of what if stuff is pretty nice now as far as i know well, we haven't seen this in the show yet uh, there's like so that's interesting We'll see. So, but yeah, this set comes with three figures, 369 pieces, uh, each is eight and up. And I'm just gonna take a moment to just look at this boxer. It is absolutely amazing. They did a fantastic job with the boxer here. We got What If on the side. The uh, kind of comic book style boxer is absolutely amazing. We got Lego Watcher up there. The alternate boo, which we will not be looking at in this video. Uh, it's just kind of unnecessary, and I don't want to go through the hassle of making it into the alternate build. So, yeah, we got Marvel on the side of the box. And I actually opened this box from the bottom. Really interesting. I don't know why. And that's just how this is, but okay got what if in there as well this is just a really nice boxer uh for this particular set now let's go ahead and take a look at those minifigures here we go we got tony stark and i think this is a really nice figure i really like what they did with this uh it has just normal gray legs and normal tony stark hair and head You can see his ultimate face is still the uh, kind of heads up display there that we've gotten a whole bunch of models at this point. So that still kind of exists. It's really nice because it does basically cover it up. There's a little bit of blue over there, but to, to the normal human eye, it is basically completely covered up. Uh, the torso print is very simple. The and the back printing are both very simple uh, for this figure, and I think you can kind of think that. So if you want to use this torso for like a Lego City City figure, you can. And I think that works pretty well. I just think this is a nice. Uh, this is just a nice kind of generic kind of Tony Stark figure. I like it. I think it's pretty nice. And now we and then we got Valkyrie. Here, which is really nice, really nice to see her in a set again. Uh, it's really nice, kind of side shoulder pauldron right here, kind of cut out here. I think that's really nice. Um, the uh, torso and the back torso printing is pretty nice, not the craziest thing ever, but it is still nice, nice printing there. And then, of course, it's all in just kind of gunmetal gray, the uh, torso and the um, legs primary color is gunmetal gray and I think that just looks really nice it's just a nice shiny gray and I think that looks really well nice. and the face print's also really nice no secondary face obviously because it would be sewing with the hair piece like that it would be sewing in the back so it just wouldn't really work uh, it's still a nice face print though and the um Two accessories we got is a, it's kind of a glass bottle here and then a sword, which is really nice, nice to get that sword piece again. Just, just a really nice figure, nice to get her in a seep, easy, uh, easy attainable set. I think that's really nice. And then the highlight for the set for most people is the Watcher, a Watu the Watcher, and I think this is just... This is an amazing figure. They did absolutely. They did some amazing scenes here. I'm pretty sure this is a new uh, cloth. This is a new cloth piece for the uh, upper collar piece there. I think that's just a 
I think that's a new piece that kind of just cut out the various surfaces it's there. So I think that's new. We got the soft cape there. Um, I think I go to amount of back printing on this figure, even though know, it's basically always going to be covered up. Uh, the front printing is also pretty nice. It's still simplified, but it is pretty nice. Uh, no leg printing. Sadly, I don't, know, I, don't I, I don't think we really need leg printing for this figure. I don't think it's really necessary. And then the, uh, th this is just a really nice figure. I really like it. They did really nice with the head printing there. They really did. It's just really nice. This is definitely the best figure of the set, and the one I really bought this set for. Because this is, like, it's just so cool to get a Watcher minifigure in LEGO. And here is the full set, the full mech, uh, the Hulkbuster Sakarian armor. And I think this is really interesting. A lot of colors. A lot of colors. Uh, we got some kind of teal uh, teal kind of color, kind of a greenish teal for the, uh, kind of just sprinkled around in a nice orange uh, color, just a lot of places, and then a really bright, like, red, so those are some pretty nice colors, also some gray kind of mixed in there. This is a very colorful mech, uh, probably one of the most colorful um, Marvel mechs, which is surprising because we've gotten a lot of we've gotten a lot of mechs recently. Uh, not really this scale of mech, but especially this year we got the uh, this one, the uh, the uh, Hydra Stomper and the Iron Monger. So it's like that. That's pretty cool. The actual just build is built pretty well. Uh, the legs are built great. There's two stickers on these kneecaps here. And the legs are just built really nicely here. Uh, with, it's pretty stable. You can put the... Uh, I've done it before. Right? I don't know if I can recreate it. But you can put EMEC on one uh, leg. I have to like it just some things but it is it is possible you can put the uh mac just standing on one foot the uh this can open up in the front here there's a sticker here there's, there's a lot of stickers on the front side there's one sticker down here sticker there two stickers on either side and then this is a big sticker uh this was a really annoying sticker they probably should have done a print there uh like this is a print uh, I would have been fine if that was a print. That would have uh, saved me a lot of hassle. There's also a sticker for the kind of control panel. And then you can put just Tony Stark. Uh, you can kind of lift up that. So you can set Tony Stark in. But this mech is way big. Like, very big. Let's grab the watcher here. I am. And just his minifigure stale, he's like, he, it is very big, meaning that Tony Stark's head doesn't, so, when you lift up the helmet, and I don't really like that, I think it probably should, I think they probably could have built that better, uh, but that's just me, but yeah, he's not really being sewn, there's gaps here, but you can't really see the iron, you can't really see Tony Stark's serum, so I think it works. Uh, their scabs are kind of annoying, though. And, of course, we got these hands. Uh, four fingers. And they're all poisonable. That yeah, seems like pretty nice. It's really interesting how this is. Uh, these shoulder pads all have a sticker here. And then same on the other side. Sticker there. But these pieces fall off a lot. I've had these shoulder pads, like, fall off a lot. That's because it's connected by four studs into here, and it doesn't really want to stay. Uh, I can't really... I don't know why it doesn't really want to stay, but it just doesn't want to stay. Uh, this mech entirely just doesn't really want to stay together. I guess it's a problem in a lot of mechs, but this mech especially, just it doesn't want to stay together. So, that that's annoying. 
Uh, you've probably already seen the back, it's just wheels. Uh, that is for the second transformation, which I might do a video on later. I'm just doing it. The main build of the set, because that's what you're really paying for. I don't think anyone's really paying to get a race car here. But it does kind of transform into a race car. Uh, I want to go through that process because it's morning. You just basically have to take the set the, it, it, into a few separate pieces and rearrange them. It, it's a pain. And you can see this is also kind of pretty to race car, this uh, solar panel thing. I don't know. There's also kind of these hieroglyphics on the sticker here and then on the helmet, which looks really nice. So, yeah, this definitely isn't the best mech build. It's definitely an interesting back build, but it isn't, it isn't the best, so. Do you want my opinion and recommendation on this set? I would say go for it. I would say you should probably buy it retailing for $35 US. I think this is a really nice price. You're getting three pretty good figures with a Valkyrie, Valkyrie, Valkyrie and the Watcher being just amazing figures. And then the uh, Tony Stark here is also a pretty nice figure, although you probably already have Tony Stark, let's be real. And you're probably mainly going to buy it for mainly to watch here, but maybe you are great as well. The actual build here is fine, it's not the greatest build here, uh, definitely very colorful, and but I, I think it has a charm to it, so definitely I would say... Uh, probably should pick this up especially if you're a fan of what if if you don't really know the source material or you don't really watch what if or really like what if i would say you can pass on this set um i don't really say you should get it you should probably only get the set if you're a fan of what if obviously because it's based off the show or it's not really anything you would get as like a normal just straight line movie fan or like the mcu fan uh, there's not really much you can really get from this set. I mean, you're, you're getting another mech, but I would honestly say that the uh, Hydra Stomper is probably a better, better mech than this. I don't have that set. I'm gonna, I'm trying to get that set, but uh, I, it's probably a better set. And I don't have Ironmonger. I've seen it in person, but I don't own it. And it shoots. So I think. That this is a good middle of the road uh in between those two sets i would say if you like if you like the figures or if you like the build buy it if this doesn't really appeal to you obviously don't buy it if you're not really a big fan of what if that's like you're not gonna get any characters from the mcu that are exclusive to this set um that are like pretty important that you want as an mcu fan that's what i'm basically trying to say here Hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, you go right ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. It helps out a lot, and it would be very appreciated. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.